Hello there, how's your day? I'm Mega Kid Alright, today we are going to talk about Rima Even Star, or sometimes I would actually mistaken her name as Even Star, or Ever Star, or whatever star. But the thing is, right, um, number one thing we have to still have to say one thing is that congratulations on reaching over 50k subscriber and 7 K of follower on Twitter or S or whatever you want to call it. But anyway, um, the one thing I do find it interesting about uh for this whole situation is that I previously did did a video about on April Fool Day just for uh about five different VTubers and Rima Sun is actually one of them because the one thing I do love to highlight is that initially I did mistaken her like her model as a horse VTuber like even though she stated that she is a horse VTuber but there was like when I go to her um like when I go to her Twitter there was like no indication of fault uh, it just indicate that content creator and part-time super villain I can't show the banner because it's a little bit a bite but on one thing is that when I take a look at that I was like when I look at her first look her first impression like no matter how you look at it like even for that smile that damn smile um, I, I guess there might be some people who like this kind of look for some reason but Anyway, uh, but if you like have the first impression, does that look like a fault or does that look like a very interesting character from the Uma Musume or the or the horse girl to be to, to, if you want to translate it word to words. So basically, uh, Uma Musume, anyone who know very well is that the design of most of the girl are like girls with long teen years because they are horse along the line. So obviously, when you have a character that look like that, like even when when you look at most of the girls, it's obviously that most of the girls have long thin years. Very, very similar to how Rima years are. So obviously that it was uh apparent a lot of Joe calling people uh people calling her being the horse VTuber, even though she stated as the horse VTuber, I still I mean, like, no matter what, Rima san, please forgive me because when I have the when I actually look at your model for the first time, when uh, when I know about your situation, I said, like, I actually mistaken you as a horse VTuber, and I thought you were a horse VTuber until when you stated that you were a horse VTuber, even till now, I still remember like Salvi san told me, like, no, you are, you, uh, I'm not wrong, I, uh, I, th I thought I was wrong when you said that you were a horse VTuber, so I'm actually very, very confused about that. Um, but if anyone say otherwise, I mean, like, hey. I'm a person who stands in the middle of all situations. I love to see, understand a lot of situations. Understand, like if people call um Rima San the false VTuber, then we have to say, hey, what made her false VTuber? But if people call her the horse VTuber, then I, I mean, like we have to have reason for it. And obviously, I was linked to this, and I can definitely understand from that point. But on the other hand, um, since Rima Sun had reached 50k subscriber on YouTube. It's actually kind of interesting that on the 25th of May to 25th of May, she will be doing a 48 hours toner stone. Um, I believe she is having some sort of uh, um, donation drive along the line, but again, I'm not sure about the is it a donation drive or is it more like uh, we are going to give her money but the one thing that i do find it interesting about the whole situation is that not just 100 dollars for the uh tournament she will be doing a spicy food challenge which sometimes i do it a lot quite in my live stream sometimes but uh for that point all right i, I mean like I'm not sure what, what kind of spicy food challenge is she going to give it to herself, but if she do make sure that she'll be eating something like this called a Samyam Korean spicy two times version noodle, if she is able to survive this and uh instead think of this that it's sim simple, it's easy, and she can serve and she can eat it like as it is normal, I will freaking eat the same thing again one more time. I mean like if Rimo Sun say that, hey, I are you sure about that? Yeah, I actually did. I did it. I ate it. Two packet worth. Last time. Quite recently ago, around one week ago. If you don't believe me, I can just at the time of this recording, seven days ago. So yeah. Um it's very, 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 very painful for me. Um, even though for for a person who can eat, but uh, can eat some spicy food, but then again, like, cause already got some other people telling me that it's not spicy at all for them. But I'm actually finding it spicy, so I probably I'm just weak to spicy food. I I guess, but I I do wish that her hundred dollars would be making uh, everyone would be making her eating this along the line. But who knows? I mean, like. 
if she can survive this, I, I won't even mind eating one more packet. I still have one more packet left, so yeah. Uh, we we, we still see. Uh, um, actually, we'll be intending to see what uh what the situation for her live uh her live stream or the tol uh the tornadon will be. I'm so bad at that word. But anyway, uh, the one thing I do find it interesting about the whole situation, like, hey, we are not going to say that um she is going to set a button for herself along the line. But because the thing is, right, if she is going to set up um some sort of Punishment. I'm actually inclined to know what kind of punishment is she going to set herself off. But the one thing that I got me, uh, like very very inclined is that the one thousand is that the wolf reveal. So I'm gonna assume that she is going to finally admit she is being a horse. Uh, I guess that one more part would be people have to make her would be, um, from how I would think would be, if she admit she is not a horse VTuber but a horse VTuber as well as that she'll be making a horsey noise along the line I mean like not saying like she's gonna make a horny noise or a sassy noise along the line but more like a horsey noise but who knows I mean like if she does that and people creep that moment for uh for me to view because I won't be able to view um her live stream all the time because I will be busy in real life on the 24th and 20th, 25th uh, since I'll be going out for some stuff but um, if she does really do uh, a horsey noise and people creep it I think I'll be just playing that on loop for quite a few hours before I feel satisfied because it will just prove uh, that everyone say um, uh, what um, everyone have been thinking that she is being a horse VTuber being the correct way to go but at, the, at this point of time, I don't think she's hosting enough to do that yet. So I'm going to praise her. I'm still going to, I mean, like, yes, I I might mistaken her as the host VTuber a little bit at times, but I think I'm still going to call her a false VTuber for now. I mean, like, if she admit that she is a false VTuber, I mean, like, if you, you unless people can convince me that she is the host VTuber, then, uh... I'm willing to change, but for now, um, we will need to stick to what she think. She uh, she's a meeting. She, I mean, like I'm at this point, I'm, I'm not sure whether you see a horse or she is a horse. I mean, like two animal walk on four leg, and it's very hard to determine. Like, is it a horse or is it a horse? I mean, like, sure, I know what the horse looks like. Sure, I know what a horse looks like, but with a model that's oh a little bit but but uh with a model that look not like false or not like uh but more like a horse along the line yeah definitely not helping especially when she's but then again uh because of that them smell that is look very very scary from uh in my opinion i think i will just stick to calling her the false vtuber just to save my life but in any case uh if you have guys are not aware she is actually um a vtuber who talk, do talk about a uh, a lot of other VTuber stuff and the one thing I do like her video about is that she tend to talk about stuff that is mostly that most VTuber are not aware of or maybe they, uh, pe or people who is a community of VTuber would not be aware of and it's actually kind of interesting she do give her I'm not saying like neutral take or biased take it's more towards that she's trying to give the best take ever I mean like if I'm the one doing this I'll be kind of like giving like uh, I would giving the both sides of the coin understand the whole most of the situation and in her case she do give up quite a lot of um source and information to back up her claim so I do find her video interesting because you can understand from many situations but again uh, we can't be sure like she still have quite a lot of people who kind of like call her out for a few things she's that they think she is wrong even though there's nothing wrong with her take um i mean like when when you get popular to the uh to a point of having haters yeah you're doing something right it's just that um for my case i always tend to look at both sides of the coin my advice for her would be that some t i mean like she seems to be the type of person to be open to many situations and understand from both sides of the coin which i do have to applaud her for it but on the other hand um I think she, what she do need for her situation is that she need to be braver and stand her ground at times. She seemed like like I seen her case uh very uh very understandable. And on the other hand, at times she just kind of like back off without understanding that she is on the right side. But again, uh, there may be some people who may call her out for that, which I don't think is the right way to go because um. Like I mentioned, sometimes when you're open to 
suggestion or open up for debate often more than not you do want to let uh for her case i think she need to stand her ground a little bit more i'm not saying that she have to like stand her ground all the way but on the other hand um for me who tend to be a middleman throughout most of my life uh even when i was working in uh office or whatsoever or even like call center along the line like when you're standing in the middle ground it's very hard to like know when to uh put stand your ground or when to push forward or when to back off along the line it's that it's very very hard to understand that very very thin line and for her i feel like her situation would be more she need to understand when to do that and i believe she'll be able to grow more because from how i've seen some of her live stream at times uh she does give quite a few valid take that actually sometimes i do listen and do use it in my video to kind of like give uh, a point of view from some people style or how people think about the situation and i mean like even if most people say hey that's common knowledge but the thing is right sometimes common knowledge may be something that you, one person may overlook and it's always best to look at many's perspective like it's, it doesn't mean that when you look at the coin that is the only the head and the tail that is the center of the coin there's also when people look from different uh standpoint that you can look at the coin differently and she does sometimes give quite an interesting take on some situation i mean like when she do say about the uh pomu min mate return or maybe along the line of that niji sanji as ironically even along the line even when i did my version of uh that uh she does talk about her point of view along the line and she is not has uh i mean like she is not hesitant to kind of put strong word and that's what made her, her video in, in, uh, interesting in a way but again like i mentioned uh not everyone would accept it or maybe there will be some people who is like going to talk about it and as long as she stands her ground i think she's fine but other than that um i do in time people to go and take a look at her live stream on and follow her accordingly i will i will probably because since she says that she's a 30, uh, 48 hours so i think i might during my free time to go and take a peek once in a while but i had i'm not quite sure about the whole situation um the only thing i'm actually in time to hope uh, i will really hope that for this uh for this live stream of her will be number one she will be um uh, embracing her horsey side and number two when if she, uh, she'll be enjoying the spicy food that's the two things that i can only hope for but anyway uh with that being said i think uh this will be all for now but if you do want to take that whatever i talk about her i mean like understand this thing even if we must if you're listening to this understand that this is all my speculative thought it's just a random chat take with, with a huge spin or so and throw the sword at the screen that you need to but um i just hope that she we must you have fun um and that would be all but if you do have your own view if your own your own opinion or your own take write in the comment below we can discuss it further and don't forget to press the like button if you do like this video and subscribe for more random chat and we'll see you again in this video live stream have a good day all night bye